we thought to ourselves, we could either stay consumer, we could build a product for, for all of our friends, all of our family, we could be the best way that you could share photos. Um, but then we looked at it, we, we thought about what is our opportunity to really innovate in that area, who are we going to be competing with? We looked at, at uh, Google and, and Microsoft, people that were going to just dramatically bring down the cost of storage for, for consumers. We looked at what Facebook was doing in photos, and we really felt that was a really great way that people were going to communicate. Can we really compete or be innovative in that area? We looked at uh, the music space, as I mentioned, but really thought iTunes, and now we have Spotify, but, um, but uh, we had, we, there were sort of better products on the market that would let you share and consume music. And then we looked at the enterprise. And, and as I mentioned earlier on the Microsoft slide, the, the solutions that people had in their businesses weren't as innovative as we are. And we, we really thought that we could do it better than everybody else. And so enterprises already have budget. They already spend uh, collectively billions and trillions of dollars a year on this type of technology, of managing their data, of helping their businesses communicate, of enabling collaboration, of all of their sort of IT strategies. So, so they have the money, right? Compared to us as consumers, we sort of care about every last dollar that we spend on, on anything. And so we needed, a really, uh, we, we needed to go after a market that could essentially pay for the service. And um, that's, uh, that's a thing called a business model. And uh, we thought that was important. We, we could out-innovate the competition. So what's really interesting is traditional enterprise software usually gets built and deployed in three-year release cycles. So that's why you have products called Outlook 2007 and Outlook 2010 and SharePoint 2007 and SharePoint 2010. Every three years, that product gets updated. That means the second that it's in a customer's environment, it's already out of date. That means somewhere in some lab, somewhere at Microsoft, they're working on an all-new version. And that means you're always behind them. And so we knew we could out-innovate these, old, er, uh, these older incumbents uh, who were building technology in the old way. Um, we, could cons- we could be more like a consumer company, deploy the, con- uh, the, uh, the, the software faster, and this would be a, a dimension where we could innovate uh, and we could have a lot of competitive advantage. Uh, and our customers already wanted this. If we surveyed our customers at that time, they, say, they would say, we want easier ways to collaborate with our colleagues. We want easier ways to manage all the users in our business. And so it was a very sort of natural evolution of the business model. But to do it really completely, we had to decide to go all in. We had to put our focus in one area um, because we really had to be as innovative as we could and, uh, and build the best product, product possible. So we chose Enterprise. Um, uh, it was, a, it was a, a sort of series of events that happened. Uh, we had an investor who was on the board of another SaaS or, or software as a service company that was selling the enterprises. So we already had the sort of business model ideas uh, about how we could do this. We had a consultant that was going and selling the product to other people and seeing if they would buy it. We, we listened to the customers and sort of thought about what we could do. And so we decided to go enterprise, and it worked. Almost overnight, companies paid us 10 to 100 times more for our product that we were beginning to upgrade and, and sell uh, as more of an enterprise solution and where we were continuing to build up market uh, uh, features for. So instead of the story being about how can you share and manage your, your data with a couple colleagues or a couple friends, it was all about how can a business implement a broader solution that they can use to share information across the organization. Um, and, uh, and, and they really found, found value in this because they were traditionally spending way too much money with legacy solutions that weren't solving their problems, that weren't updating uh, for how people wanted to work today. And we had a new kind of sales model, which made us extremely competitive. And this, I think, is a, an update that we're starting to see across the industry, uh, across other sort of freemium businesses. We have a sales model where people actually call us. So we have a free version of the product that lots of businesses and lots of users use, but then people actually call us when they want to upgrade for more security, more technology. And so we have a sales team that essentially is talking to people that are already really excited about the product. So it's an inversion on the business model where traditionally you go and call and and email and market to a lot of businesses who aren't using your solution, who don't know about your product, who aren't qualified, who aren't educated about what you're doing. And we've done the exact opposite. So by the time we're talking to somebody on the phone, by the time we're selling to somebody, they're already using the product. It's already solving their problem. They already know it's the right solution for them.